All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yon Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity, Bashem, Rokak, Wadash. This is going to be an impromptu video. All right, two scriptures popped into my mind after seeing this um, video. I'm pretty sure brothers have seen it already, but I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Lord willing to be edifying this prophecy, man. Okay? Right before our eyes being played out. Basically, a symphony choir in uh, St. Petersburg is singing about bombing America with nuclear bombs, okay? This is what these Russians have in their mind, okay? We know this is prophecy, man. We know that uh, Russia is the modern, I mean, the ancient means, okay? And they're going to be very crucial in destroying America. This is biblical prophecy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the video and then get into some scriptures. You see that? It said, aim, I say Petrov at the city of Washington. Right. True, la la la, tra la 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 la. Hello, the new land, the enemy land. Okay, so, you know, they're singing about bombing Washington, D.C., man. You know, enemy land. See that? Submarines and planes with bombs, atomic bombs, started to sing a happy song. This reminded me of where the scriptures talk about a doleful lamentation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play the rest of it and then get into the scriptures. True la la la. Burn, burn the enemy land. True la 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 la. This is a this is a, a, a taunt, man. All right? This is a proverb. This is a, a doleful lamentation, man. Tired toys are sleeping. Nagas are sleeping. Yeah, Nagas are sleeping, man. You know, you two-thirds, man. You jakes, man. Wake up, man. You blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? America is Babylon the Great, and it will be destroyed by nuclear fire. This is what we're preaching on the highways and hedges. This is what you see. You know, you, you, your very own aunts and uncles and brothers, you know, the, you know, they're, uh, you, you know they're, they're saying this, okay? They're saying that, 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 that uh, this is biblical prophecy, that nations will rise up against America and, and destroy it, okay? And now they're singing. Okay, North Korea, we're making videos too and putting them up on YouTube, uh, animated videos on how they were going to destroy America too. So this truth is going out, man. Okay, there's been a lot of visions, a lot of signs. Okay, uh, the economy's crashing. You know, stores are being closed, man. All kinds of uh, uh, natural disasters, man. Now these other nations are rising up, man. They don't. They have. They have had enough of America's rape, robbery, and murder, man. Okay.
Burn the land into pieces, the enemy land. Hey, man, I bet you it sounds colder in Russian, man. Straight up. All right, so I want to get these scriptures, man, because this is what popped into my mind when I saw this video. This has been circulating, all right, throughout Israel. Okay, and I thought I, you know, do a little video on it, you know, a little impromptu, you know, through the spirit and power, Lord willing to be edifying. But, man, I saw this and I was like, man, I got to get on this, man. Let's see. This is Habakkuk 2 and 4. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Okay, this is talking about you Edomites, man. You are the enemy. You are the enemy land that, 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 that these Russians want to burn into pieces, man. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Right, his philosophies make him proud. This pride has deceived him. Who? Edom, Esau, him that dwelleth at the clefts of the rocks, man. Neither keepeth that home. Okay, now he has bases all over the world. Okay, he's been he's been you know uh, uh, going to the uh, the other side of the world. Okay, and, and been basically been ha had a has a low key um, going to war with Russia with these little these little uh, mercenary you know ISIS groups that he's made. Okay, and, and he's basically you know you know rape robber and murder the whole the whole earth man and nations like Russia are getting mad man you know they're singing about his demise. All right, neither keep it at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is as death. Right, he is as death, man. This devil is as death, man. You Edomites, that's all you think about, you know, rape, robbery, and murder, and cannot be satisfied, but gathered unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. You know, and, the, and, that, and, and you know, that's funny, man, because, you know, as much as you say that, you know, so-called Hispanics are illegal immigrants, this country was born, all right, the inception of it is based, you know, on, on, on people coming from other countries, all right? This is the melting pot, okay? This is Babylon the Great. This is the whore that sit up upon many waters, man, all right? But, yeah, the, heapeth unto him all people because basically, you know, America goes around and wants everybody to be like, like them, okay? Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb? Hey, that's pretty taunting to me, you know? When, the, when a choir is singing about bombing, America, Washington, D.C., with submarines and airplanes, you know, saying tra-la-la-la-la, you know, uh, that, that, that's a parable and a taunting proverb. Let's look up some words real quick. Look at that word, parable. Strong's age, 49.12. Mashal. Mashal. Right, proverbial saying. Similitude, parable, poem. Okay, <laughs> and basically that song is like a poem, man, against America, against him. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb? Let's see. Taunting. Strong's H forty four twenty six. Melitza. Melitza. Satire, mocking poem, mocking song. You see the guy at the end? He just. It's over with. He just walked off. Taunting figure enigma. These, hey man, these, 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 uh, Russians, man. Okay, the the ancient Medes, man. They they know. They know they're gonna have a, a great hand in destroying America, man. They know America's time is up, man. You see, a mocking song against him, a taunting a proverb against him, and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long unto him that ladeth? himself with thick clay woe unto him that increaseth that which is not his so destruction unto you devils why because you're steadily stealing from the countries you're steadily stealing from the nations and 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 they say destruction unto you man okay shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and and, and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them 
right? They're rising up against you, these nations, man. And these nations are great, you know. Everybody want to think America is the, the greatest nation on the earth. But look at look at Russia, man. You know, Russia, they're very smart people, man. They've been in space longer and much more. You know, they have more hours of space in America. You know, you got Iran, okay? And I believe um, Iran doesn't have a, 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 a Rothschilds-controlled bank. And that's really why they want to go in there, if I'm not mistaken. Iran, China, North Korea... These countries are, 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 are great countries that are against America. They shall, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them. What did it say? The enemy land. Burn it to pieces, the enemy land. You know? It's going to be a booty for all, you, all these nations to come upon you suddenly. Strong's H, 4933. Meshissah. Booty, spoil, plunder, right? They're gonna spoil this land, man. You know, you they're probably hey, they're gonna reach the, the the shores of America, man. You know, these missiles. It's gonna be a spoil. It's gonna this place is gonna be a spoil. Okay. This is a Micah 2 starting at the top. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When they when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Right? Woe unto you devils, man. You devise iniquities. All right? And you, you do them in the morning. All you think about, man, is wicked stuff. And you don't go to sleep until you make someone fall in your wicked schemes. Always thinking about what, how to conquer the world. You know, just like Pinky in the brain. You know, what are we going to do today? Conquer the world. That's what that's what that's what you pinky and you so-called little rat bastard brain ass devils be doing. Because hey, the inward thought of every one of them is deep. They're they thinking about this stuff. They've been thinking about the new world order and how to take down you Israelites, and you know, they've been planning this stuff, man, and the Lord gave them the power, okay? And and, and it's in their hand to do it. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked, you know? So the Lord set up these devils, man, and for appointed time. Okay, but the movie's about to end, and the song, and, and, and the fingers are being pointed at you, your shame is being uncovered, you know, they're mocking you. Okay, so it is what it is, man, you know, so we're just reading the judgment out, this is Micah 2 and 2, and they covet fields and take them by violence, right, they take lands by violence and houses and take them away, so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Yeah, man, you, you know, you got people that, you know, from all different parts of the world believe in their own religions and their own lands and their own places. And what do you do? You go up in there and, and, and take down their leaders and set up puppet leaders, you know, make people change their religion, set up democracy. You, you oppress a man and, 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 his, and, his, and, and you know, what his heritage, what, what he's believed in and what he's about. You know, you want everybody to be so-called uh, um, civilized, but y'all some, y'all some damn animals, man. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, Bashem Yahushua, behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks. Right? You gonna you, you, you ain't gonna save your neck from this one, man. Neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. Okay, this time is gonna be evil upon you, you devils, man. On that day shall one take up a parable against you and lament with a doleful lamentation. You see? And that's what they're doing. These countries are 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 They're taking up a parable against you, man. You know, proverbial sayings, poems, similitudes. Strong's age, 4912. Mashal. Mashal was in that other scripture. Mashal. Was in that other scripture. They'll take up a, a proverbial saying against you, a poem against you. Lament with doleful lamentation. Wail, lament to go morning after. Let's see. Doleful. Let's go with that word doleful. Strong's age, 5093. Nihia. Nihia. Wailing, lament, lamentation, morning song. You see? A morning song. That's what doleful. A doleful lamentation is a morning song. Okay? And, and, and let's look up that word morning. Let's get a, a basic definition for that word morning. The expression of deep sorrow for someone who has died, typically involving f 
following certain conventions such as wearing black clothes. Grieve, grieving, sorrowing, lamentation, lament. You see? Deep sorrow for someone who has died. Hey, <laughs> the, the, hey they're singing songs about the death of America. Mourning songs. Okay? Doleful lamentation. In that day shall one take up a parable against you, right? A saying against you. And lament with a doleful lamentation. Their mourning songs, mocking songs. Against who? America. And say, we be utterly spoiled. He, See, they're mocking, saying, we be utterly spoiled. Okay? They're, 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 they're mocking America, saying, aha, uh -huh, look, at, they're going to be spoiled. Basically, he hath changed a portion of my people. How hath he removed it from me? Turning away, he hath divided our fields. And that's what you're saying. How in the hell has the Lord, you know, put the spirit upon these people, you know, these nations to take away back, take away everything that you've taken from them. And basically your dignity. Because they're going to burn you, man. All these nations really, uh, they're going to burn you to a crisp, you know. How hath he removed it from me? Turning away, he hath divided our fields. Therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. You see? Doleful lamentation, man. <laughs> That's that this is prophecy, man. It's beautiful. Alright, so I just wanted to bring this out, Lord willing to be edifying, man. You know, hey, the, the scriptures are real. Alright, and everything that the Lord said would happen is happening. Okay, so just wanted to bring this out to the spirit. Lord willing it was edifying. I want to say Brakate Yahwa, Brakate Haushai, Brakate Yahwa, Brakate Yahushai, Brakate Yahwa, Brakate Haushai, Shalom.